Oh, hey, what's up? It's your boy, Doug here. Coming after you with a little bit of a different video. So I'm going to be making some phytoplankton and showing everyone how. So for those of you who don't tune in, look at the other videos, but I got a feather duster and the feather duster actually consumes this phytoplankton. It's also great for the coral. Some of the stuff I have is I have some salt water that's diluted. So it's about two to one parts salt water and fresh water or RDI water. So to get like about 1.018 to 1.020 salinity. I have just my refractometer to check. I have the air pump that's gonna keep all the phytoplankton circulated. Some old phytoplankton from a culture. And then I have this F2 fertilizer, which is important to shake well before you use. So to start this, I'm going to first test my salinity and make sure that it's where I want it to be. So we're just gonna do this. Yeah, and phytoplankton has a bunch of other benefits such as the corals can consume it and grow from it. It increases phosphates in your tank, which for me, I need it because of my dino issue. Yeah, so this is hitting about the 1.018, which is where I grew mine last time and it did really well. So it's really simple to do. All you have to do is have this. You add some of your phytoplankton just to tint it green. And this stuff is old. That's why I really don't want to use it. It's been in the fridge for like a month now, maybe more. And smell it to make sure it smells okay. It's still fine to use. I read online, you can actually have it for up to three months. Yeah, so I'm just going to tint it a little greener than this. Probably like that. Eh. There we go. So that's tinted green. And this is gonna get really dark green to like this in a couple days. I actually made, might have made too much, but I want a little greener because I'm going back to school soon. So I want to harvest it before I go back. All right, so that should be a solid green start. You can add as much or little as you want because this stuff will really grow. And I'm going to add this fertilizer and you add about five milliliters of it. That's what I found worked well for me last time. So I'm going to do that again. This is just any other syringe. Let's take one. Five. All right, so now that that's in there, I made this with an air pump and just some leftover hose I had. And I already wiped it off. And to sanitize everything between uses, I use isopropyl alcohol, just because that's safe to use. And if a little bit gets stuck, that's fine. And I just plop this in. I get it to go to the bottom, cap it. And then I just plug in the air pump and I make phytoplankton. It's easy as that. It's really not that hard of a concept and it's unlimited food supply and it's a lot cheaper than just constantly having to rebuy it, rebuy it. So I'll show you in a second what it looks like when it's going. Yeah, so it's pretty loud, but as you can see, all you have to do is when you have the airline tube, that'll keep it circulating. And I just put it in front of a window and in about 10 to 14 days, you'll have a cultured phytoplankton. And you know it's done because you can see it's super light green now and I'll show you when it's actually done because it'll get super dark and light won't pass through it. This is the final product. It's pretty basic cell culture in my opinion. You know, one becomes two, becomes four. I left it in the window for about 12 days. And once you have that nice dark color, you know it's good to go. So I got my fire point in. I'm gonna shake it up. Boys. Boys. Mom! Just kidding. I think I have worse diarrhea than I already do. But so I'm gonna dose this in here. The recommended dose is five mLs per 10 gallons. So this is 40 gallon tank, quick math, 20 mL. So I'm gonna add it in here. Yeah, that's probably like 19. Twenty. Alright, so that's what you gotta do. Just kidding, I actually just kinda of like whatever how much works. Uh, it's to feed. This guy, the beautiful feather duster that I've already shown. So if you want to take a look at that video and as always, ugh, refund baby.
Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I need, I need money for fish.